Can you describe some of your research on scaling in human organizations? Who did you work with? How does it fit in with Heijin's work on cities? So a large group of us at SFI, Heijin Yoon, Jeffrey West, Sid Redner, Vicky Young, who's now at MIT, and a whole bunch of really wonderful postdocs spread across those institutions, trying to understand what we call the laws of regulation. And so this is one way to think about scaling in human organizations, but also scaling in different types of organisms. What we're really after is why you see across the tree of life from bacteria to large organizations, some investment in regulatory function. Why do organisms spend resources, whether that's energy or money or time, regulating other functions? We often bemoan this as bureaucracy, and many people would say useless bureaucracy, but why do we spend so much effort and resources on having some amount of overhead regulatory function? So we're trying to write down very general theories for that. We're looking at lots of interesting data that span bacteria to cities to human organizations and just understanding how the amount of regulatory function changes with the size and complexity of a system and whether that's optimal or not. Our argument, in part, is you see lots of regulation in bacteria. Bacteria have an enormous capacity to refine their function. They have huge population sizes, and because of that, they can see really small changes in fitness. And so many people have argued that if something is irrelevant in bacteria, it gets selected out by evolution quite quickly. And so if a bacterium has a lot of regulatory genes, those really are doing something useful. That is not a relevant bureaucracy. That is something fundamental to those cells. So we're trying to take what we understand from bacteria and then scale it up to lots of different systems to just ask questions about what optimum regulation looks like. 